deal with that. And I had to deal with me being in the presence of when I was a part of bullying. What if that same guy, he had nightmares of me and I was in the picture like, oh, he just stood there and watched this. And we're going to talk about that. Sometimes when you're just standing there watching this, let me put my, I apologize right there for the family and that man, spiritually wise, as right for the, an honor of righteousness. I never actually said this out loud. I apologize for that. I should have stopped him and I should have told him, I'm not dealing with you no more. If that's, we never, he never did that again with me again. We never did anything like that again. Anything we did as far as, 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 as street stuff came way after we was adults and we both were just working on business. So it wasn't like I ever dealt with him like that, but Damn, that's not, I can't lie to y'all because he kind of do have bully energy. Now I'm thinking about it. That's messed up. But let me keep reading this. Um, what happens to gang leaders? Um, do they make a lot of money? Gang leaders, do they make a lot of money? Wait, what do you mean? Gang leaders don't make a lot of money. Um, hustlers, like the leaders who are hustling, all gangs are not hustling. So you got, you got gang leaders who are broke and you got some of their members who making way more money because they hustling. But then that's when you start, you, they, people have to start paying all type of taxes and getting, pay all type of dues. So, but even with that though, it's not, it's only so much, unless you are crew that's making money, that ain't going to really be that much where they're going to make a lot of money. And I ain't going to lie, Stephen Knight, that's a good question. But what do you mean by a lot of money? That's a good question though, because people don't know Texas in the house. Texas. Are we talking about Texas today? Texas. Texas is going to be with the story because we're going to talk about some marine history too. So that's great. The story we're going to talk about with battle rap is a harsh reality, but the story we're going to talk about battle rap, it's um, with virtual battle rap, is going to have to bring up a lot of history. That's why I need to get it out my chest right now. I've been to Boston twice and New York City twice. So this is, all right, this is, yeah, all right, interesting. New York is major in this story, not just because of me. New York is major in this story with the person we're going to talk about. Facts, social, social, you already, social. You. Wait, wait, hold on, put that up. We we got a Boston. We got from Boston to New York representing. That's what we about here. That's what that's about. Uh, where are you from, social? Good point. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Social in the house. VA, Steven. Yeah, look at this. Look at the miles going in. I love that. I love that energy right there. Um, cool. I've been there twice. And I've been to Boston once, twice. Um, no, in London. I never been to London. Scarface, one of the ghosts. Yeah, Scarface, Scarface, the real, like the rap. I know you're talking about because that's somebody we got to mention too, for real though. Right on, David. That's dope. Have you been in Norway? You know, a group of three or more. Students. Yes. Oh no, we got to put that up. A group of three or more. Social is on point. Y'all, y'all, y'all killing with the comments right now. Shout out to y'all. Y'all, that's a y'all. I've been working on what's in social cool. We got the London room, Southeast. Oh, we can't some so Southeast. Look, look, look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Let's go. Let's go. I like this. We international over here with it with the love. International unity. That's crazy that that's what we're dealing with the virtual car too. All right, that means I got to really, I just want to read these things before I get into that. Okay, I know same people. Um, people from London. Oh, yeah, look. Look at that. Look at y'all. I'll be mad, Ren. All right. Um, what's that saying? Uh, by so oh social did it so yeah I'm not looking at it yeah you gotta tell me when I'm uh, doing <laughs> Ooh, but I'm funny to be tired for me only point to make it gangs make money no Nick none of them make none of them I the kingpins don't even make enough money to retire because the kingpins don't do it the right way I've never seen a kingpin I can't Frank Matthews. Uh, shout outs to Frank Matthews. If Frank Matthews is still alive, I said that since I was in the streets. Shout outs to all y'all who remember me saying this. Frank Matthews is the only kingpin, if he's alive, that I have unlimited respect for. Because whatever you did with the whole mafia, I don't know if y'all know about Frank Matthews, but he did his thing with the with with the with the um with the um street pharmaceutical market. Kingpin status. And it's one thing happened where there was a deal that was he was he was trying to get out and last deal that was made allegedly either the mafia didn't like something and they took care of him or he was able to bypass everything and just go off to the island that's the two we literally two stories was told at the same time the only thing i thought immediately was he got to be alive like why would two of those who would, why would that mob he was mad close with the mob so it's like, why would they put out, they wouldn't care about that. They would want to tell people like, yo, he, we was cool with him, but look what he did and he's gone now. Or they would want it to be silent. I don't think the mob had anything to do with that story in my opinion. 
I think that he planted that whole thing and worked with them and made sure they never they never went against that story. So that's my opinion. Not to put Frank Matthews on a pedestal. I only say that because none of them get rich. They all get rich and then they have a whole bunch of expenses and then they have all these expenses and by the time they get locked up, their families have to, all that money is getting wiped away from all the expenses of everything they live because the family can't maintain that money. So if you are kingpin and you managed to stay off the radar and stay low budget until it was time to then leave, you are the winner. And like that's why I said if somebody a hustler, the only thing you should have been doing was hustling, stack your money, stack your money until you could be legitimate. And leave it alone forever. Never go back to the streets again. For me, the only point of being in the gang is to make money. Stephen Knight, I don't, yeah. So I guess you probably must be around gangs or you must know of gangs or know about gangs who are hustling. All gangs are not also like hustling and making money. Like bikers, right? Bike, all biker crews are not making money. There's some biker crews that are just love for the love of riding. But for the love of riding to be your friend, riding to be your friend, having charities, donations, and all that stuff, and you behind the scenes doing what you're doing, it's kind of like the epitome of doing it like that and having your, you, you kind of having your money being washed in the public. So that's the only time where you can say gangs are making money, but they are living high power, high class, and you can't do that. If you're talking economics, you can't have revenue streams is about how much profits you are making. That's after you deal with all of your expenses. You, they're not doing that. They don't know economics. They think just because they can know how to make it, they don't know how to hustle it and invest in. They're supposed to be investing into it. So not, they all don't make money. I mean, y'all can look at the, you can name, name any gang member or kingpin that was big. And let's talk about them right now. And I can, I'll, that's something that I study, paying attention to that. I like the, I look, I'm, that's one of the things that I think people need to pay attention to. Like when I tell y'all about consignments, you want to go sell work or whatever, and you want to co-sign, and then you, you got to pay that money back. You not, you don't, they, some of them, if they might give you a lookout, you don't got to pay it back or whatever, but you just forever, like, you just kind of like in debt, and then once you finally can pay your own thing, the only way you're going to be able to profit is if you don't spend no money during that time for that first re-up. It could get nasty. It could get nasty. And then you, once you start borrowing money, though, whoo, you, yo, these, they not making that much money. They people not yo think about this think about this rappers they be trying to be like the street people especially nowadays I mean some of them are connected but if the rappers ain't even making that much money how can we really think the street people making that much money it's not happening it's too much taxing going on and remember I'm gonna tell y'all this last thing I'm gonna keep reading the comment oh ant in the house shout out to ant. Thank you. Uh, not much, much respect, social. Ant in the house. Yo, make sure y'all shout out to all uh, Ant. Big Ant in the building. Ant's in the chat for Ant. Come on. Let me see. I don't even know. Yo, I got so much luck. That's crazy. Be Ant, I didn't even, I'm about to read your first message. I ain't even read it yet. I'm about to pin it. Like, that's how much love I got for Ant. Shout out to Ant. Let me read this, though. Oh, yeah. Did we get into the... We about to... I think it's on our topic. Angel Lane Bowling Lanes. We got to... Oh, yeah. Snoopy. So, when y'all see that thing, we going to talk about the Angel Lane Bowling Lanes. Shout out... Olin. Angel Lane's Brigade Bowling Lane. Shout out to all gang lane name. But let me see what Ant said. Being in the gang is supposed to be about facts. Supposed to be about family and belonging to something. Yes. Getting the things you don't get at home. The whole essence of a community. Yes. Community, guys. A unity between people who have things in common. Com. Community. Community. That's what gangs is about. That's what I'm saying. That's why y'all still see B hood, brotherhood. When I say that, that's my crew. That's what it is. And I stand on that no matter what happens. Y'all see in my cartoons, B hood. That's what that represents. I'm not ever hiding that. Y'all see when I'm doing my lives on stream, y'all behind the scenes when I got the Marine picture, B hood. That's my crew. And like I said, yeah, most people and they, they thought we was all blood because of different affiliations, but it was Bloods and Crips. It was Damu and Kiwi. And it always will be that way. But it's it don't got nothing to do with that gang stuff. It's about what people look as gang stuff or hustling. It's about the community. It's the love. It's the brotherhood, fellowship. We didn't have anybody. 95, I ain't gonna say 95. I'm gonna say 75 and up though. At least 75% of us did not have both moms and pop pops and pops in the house. Guess what? I was one of the few who had the moms and the pops in the house. And my moms, shouts to her, no disrespect, I'm going to leave that alone. My moms, would, I never heard, all I'm going to say, mommy, you know I can, I'm not lying about this. We spoke about this a few years ago. You have never said I love you to me. 
And I, I was talking about how that was a 